Wildlife and the Law, a guide to recognizing wildlife crime in Belize. Please note that this packet guide is from the Belize Forest Department and this presentation is just um, general guidelines on how to use the packet guide. Each photo credit is attached to the slide on which the photo is in. So why is wildlife protected or regulated? Well, Belize is a relatively small country and in the past we have had a very small population. However, now our population is growing every day and hence we need more spins. So every day more and more we are having less and less unprotected forest areas meaning that there is less place for legal hunting. Hence, laws are put in place to promote sustainable use of our natural resources and to ensure that we get to see it in future generations. For example, the white lip peccary or the wari went from a large from existing in large herds of hundreds to now small groups of like five or six animals wherever they are found. Effective regulations can bring back these population and restore them to their previous state. What do we mean by game species? Well, a game species is any animal that can be hunted for meat here in Belize. However, to hunt these species, you need a valid garden license, a valid hunting license, and it cannot occur inside a protected area. Some of the game species here in Belize, and you can pause this video and read the different names um, that we use to refer to them in Belize. However, we have the white-tailed deer and the brocket deer, which is the two species of deers. We have the colored and the white-lipped peccary. We have the paca, um, which includes a gibnut. Um, we have a couple game birds like the great curacao, crested guan, ducks and quails. We have the armadillo and we have the green iguana. Now, what do we mean by threatened species? A threatened species is one that is declining. The number of individuals within a given population is going down as a result of disease or changing climate, but also due to some um, human activities such as unsustainable hunting and um, irresponsible land use. The International Union for the Conservation of Nature, or IUCN, Red List is a scientific database of species' risk of extinction. The different levels are shown here below. You, an animal can go from vulnerable right up to extinct. A, vulner, a vulnerable species is where a species um, is declining but not yet endangered. However, if you if no work is done to protect them, it will continue to decline. Endangered species um, are declining at a faster pace and are at risk of becoming critically endangered in the very near future unless uh, hard work is done to protect them. Critically endangered animals um, or species are species that will become extinct in the nearer future unless we work harder to protect them. Um, when a species reach to the level of extinction, it means that there are no more living examples of these species left on earth meaning our children will never be able to see these in the wild ever again. In Belize, we have um, the Central American River Turtle or the Hikati, which is critically endangered, um, as well as a couple other species that are endangered, like the um, Beard Tapir, our national animal, the Yellow-Headed Parrot, and both our species of um, primates, the Yucatan black holder monkey and the 
Central American Spider Monkey. The law or legislation that governs um, wildlife in Belize is called the Wildlife Protection Act and it's found in chapters 220 of the Substantive Laws of Belize um, and last has been revised um, in the year 2000. However, this is being revised once more and uh, um, some of these things will change and um, we'll receive that information accordingly. To start with a couple of the licenses that you can get in Belize. Um, this is all in Belize dollars. Uh, an annual game license or a hunting license for national it costs 500 Belize and one for non-national would cost you $1,000 Belize. Um, one day local hunter license costs you $10 and one day visiting hunter license meaning for non-nationals would be $100. An annual dealer's license um, costs $2,000 and a temporary dealer's license three days or a weekend would cost you $100. There are also captive wildlife permits however um, this is dealt with uh, by a case by case basis hence you need to contact the forest department to know a little more information on that so the wildlife protection act states that it is illegal to hunt any of the species of wildlife set out in the schedule any of the species of wildlife uh, being game species unless you are in a position of a valid hunting license um, any obviously immature wildlife or female accompanied by its young. You cannot hunt using fire traps, poison dangs, or any artificial light. And at no point in time can you hunt um, in any area that is close to hunting, meaning protected areas or private lands. It is illegal to sell wildlife or wildlife parts, including your meat, except if in the possession of a hunt valid dealer's license. This includes um, on the roadside, in meat shop, restaurants, and markets. So you need to have a dealer's permit in order for you to um, make business with uh, any sort of wildlife, including game meat. Um, import or export wildlife of any species, dead or alive, without an import or export permit. And um, can you be in an area close to hunting carrying wildlife, wildlife parts, or a gun so in any protected area that is illegal any person found in possession of any wildlife or wildlife parts including game meat without a valid hunting license is presumed to have committed an offense under this act and anyone who commits an offense under the wildlife protection act may be charged and fined up to one thousand dollars or face six months imprisonment however this is being revised and it is possible that that fine would increase. Just a couple of the glossary of terms to let you know what we, what we mean by these terms is that wildlife, it means all domesticated mammals, birds and reptiles, along with their parts, eggs and nests of any of these wildlife forms. To hunt means to kill, take or molest by any method and includes attempting to kill, take, or molest by any method of any wildlife species um, in Belize. Um, a dealer is any person who in the course of any business or trade imports, exports, processes, buys or sells any wildlife of any species um, or their parts or product thereof. The schedule um, that is attached to the Wildlife Protection Act includes a list of species that cannot be hunted. If you need to report any wildlife offenses, the contact detail would be 822-1524. This is the um, head office at the Forest Department. You can use the email attached there or and always follow them on Facebook at the Leeds Forest Department for um, any updates. So here um, a couple of the frequently asked questions based on game species. Is it legal to hunt 
game species yes it is legal however you need to ensure that it is the open season for that species you have a valid hunting license you have a valid gun license you are not taking in a young or female with young and you are not hunting in a protected or a private land without permission is it legal to have the meat it is but if it is an open season for that species you have a valid hunting license or a dealer's permit is it illegal is it legal to sell the meat yes it is however again you need to be in an open season for that species and you need to have a dealer's license is it legal to keep transport or sell live game species their young or their eggs um, in the case of game birds no you are not allowed to have young game species eggs or parts thereof for any guidance in this contact the fires department so this presentation has been designed and created in order to assist you on how to use the actual packet guide you can already find an electronic version in our website and this presentation is based on the same this will teach you um, how to recognize the species and it will give you the open and closed season for each whenever you see a yellow frame this indicates game species um, and this species can be hunted if the regulations are followed an orange frame indicates a protected species meaning that it is fully protected under the wildlife protection act and anyone found with this species is committing an offense this is a key on how to use the different or what different pages and parts of the pages in the kit in this case it is a slide but in the case of the pocket guide it is an actual page over here you will find a very obvious picture on an easily um, easy identification of the species so you will find a nice picture here in the middle and all along the page along with its common name um, towards the left top hand corner or the right the frame again yellow indicates game species um, and an orange frame would indicate that it's fully protected down to the bottom we have the hunting season for each of these species um, with the actual dates for example the um, colored peccary is from the first of December to the 31st of May and um, down below you have uh, a calendar of sorts which gives you easy reference to when um, the season is open or closed red would mean closed and green would mean open now I'll just be um, going over some of the game species and will quickly mention the open and closed season for each however you can pause this video um, or you can uh, check the electronic copy of the packet guide if you want to spend more time with it so the white lip peccary the open season is from the 1st of December to the 31st of May and you can find the calendar there um, the colored peccary is also from the 1st of December to the 31st of May for the white tailed deer or the or the red bracket deer both species um, it's separate seasons for male and female for male it's from the 1st of October to the 30th of June and for females um, it's from the 1st of March to the 30th of June For the nine banded armadillo, the open season is from the 1st of July to the 31st of January. For the agouti and the gimnot, the open season is from the 1st of June to the 30th of November. For the green iguana, the open season is from the 1st of July to the 31st of January. For any of the game birds now, um, in this case the crested guan 
is from the 16th of July to the 31st of January. For the Chachalaca, the plain Chachalaca, the open season is from the 16th of July to the 31st of January. For the Great Curaçao, and this includes other game birds such as the Black Throated Bobwhite, the Blue Winged Teal, and the Lesser Squab, um, the open seasons are from the 16th of July to the 31st of January. Now we come to the orange frames and just some frequently asked questions on these is that is it illegal to hunt, cause harm, kill, feed or disturb any protected species? No, it is not legal to hunt, cause harm, kill, feed or disturb any of these protected species. Is it legal to have or sell the skin, teeth, meat or other parts? No. At no point in time can you have um, or be in the possession of any part of these um, fully protected species. Is it legal to keep, transport or sell live protected species? No, it is illegal to keep, transport or sell any live protected species. That is an offense under the Wildlife Protection Act. Parrots are an exception but only if you have a captive wildlife permit meaning this has to be this has been issued to you by the forest department however this permit needs to be presented when um, you know an enforcement officer requests it um, however you cannot have any no young parrot chick um, you cannot keep or sell them and scarlet macaws uh, um, even though they are parrot, you cannot keep these, right? You cannot sell these or neither can they be in your possession. Now, I will go quickly with these fully protected species. Feel free to um, pause it. I will leave it for a couple of seconds. But all of these species that you see here um, and a couple other more are fully protected and all of these laws apply. First one up is the Atelian Mananti. Um, any of our small cats, meaning the Ocelot, Margi, um, and Jagarundi. These are three or four or five wild cat species. And obviously that also includes our large cats, which are the Jaguar and the Puma. Both our monkey species are um, Fully protected, we have the Yucatan black howler monkey and the um, the spider monkey as well. The yellow-headed parrot is fully protected, as well as the scarlet macaw. Now, a little bit on animal cruelty and it's a bit different um, than the protected species but we do want to mention it um, and to give you an idea on you know what laws govern it and what is legal and illegal so what is animal cruelty um, that includes any physical violence um, any purposeful harm injury or uh, the killing of an animal is termed animal cruelty or it also includes neglect so if you deprive an animal from its basic needs um, that is also a form of animal cruelty intentional kicking burning stabbing beating or shooting of an animal is also animal cruelty and can also be caused by the lack of knowledge of the proper diet and care for a specific animal animal fighting um, which is pretty common in Belize, it's also a form of animal cruelty. The law that governs animal cruelty would be Belize's Cruelty to Animals Act, chapter 115 of the Substantive Laws of Belize, and has been revised um, in the year 2011. 
Um, it is referred to it. Uh, is referred to as the Cruelty to Animals Act, and this act serves to regulate cruelty to animals in Belize. While further revisions are necessary, um, we want to share some of these important points. Paragraph 3 prohibits baiting or fighting animals. Paragraph 4, uh, Clause 1 says that basic animal needs must be met, including food, water, and shelter. Uh, paragraph 5, Clause 1 says that anyone can give care to an animal left without basic needs for more than 12 hours and will not be deemed as trespassing. So if you see your neighbor's dog has been left without care for more than 12 hours, you can actually uh, go and feed the animal or give it water and you are um, protected from any trespassing um, charges. Paragraph 6 of this act says that animal, abuse, animal abuse is an offense, either carrying it out or allowing it to happen, it's an offense. Ill treatment is further defined to include indirectly putting an animal at risk of being predated on, uh, improper animal handling, and improper capture. This is stated in paragraph 7. And paragraph 8 says that the offender can be arrested once a complaint has been made. Fines are relatively small with a range from $10 a day for neglecting um, to provide proper food and water. Um, and the far extreme is $100 for other offenses. However, um, this will be changed and this will be higher when this app has been reviewed. Now, why is animal cruelty important? because it also protects us as humans. We have seen um, on various articles, like the ones I will state below, uh, state that there is a link between animal abusers and other violent human crimes. Um, children can be influenced to commit acts of abuse even from just witnessing these animal abuse. The FBI states that recent research shows a well-documented link that animal abuse is a predicative or a co occurring crime with violence against humans, including intimate partners, children, and elders, and is associated with other types of violent offenses. Cruelty to animal is linked to cruelty to humans, as we see in this um, FBI articles, and we have several other articles which we can share with you, um, and you can take a read for yourself. So, protecting an animal from abuse or charging a person for cruelty to animals may save a human's life. Um, a couple of the examples of cruelty to animals is stoning of any living animal, um, including birds, reptiles, and amphibians, um, tying limbs or chopping limbs and abandon any, abandoning any live animal, drowning or setting fire to any living animal, tying an animal on a short lease with no accessibility to water, food, or shelter, and neglecting to feed an animal its proper nutritional diet. So hence, especially for police officers, it is important to know um, the law and that some of these offenses are, um, you can actually charge people for them. Imagine a Belize without wildlife. Well, its future is in your hands. Whenever you see any wildlife offense, please contact the Forest Department at 822-1524 or call us at the BWRC for any wildlife advice at 615-5159. Thank you.